guys are in shape. The guys who've been here all summer uh, shouldn't really have a problem with, uh, with, with making their times. Uh, if they don't, well, they get, actually get one more try when they, everybody reports. Uh, the day after everybody reports, and then uh, if they don't make it then, they have to get up at 6 a.m. for a week and run one tenth. Some of the guys that didn't make it, they had strained, strained muscles and, and their back locked up. So they have another chance on next week to redeem themselves, and I think they'll make it. We've been doing it all summer, um, continuously. You do it every week. So if you prepare for it during, during the summer, it's easy on, on test day. You know, we can't let it slip away. We've got to do a better job of that. With those guys back there, they're always ready. They got one and two on the block side. They got to know where it is, knowing that the safety can't get there, you know, middle of the field, that type thing. And, and, uh, and cover the guy up. We want him to make him narrow that corner down as much as possible by making that tight end come and give Leonard that shot to come at that angle, which is where we got the South Carolina block. Mike, I'm Dan Brooks. How Hi. you doing? How are you? Good to see you. Hey, Good to see you. Hi. You guys want to sit down and join us with some football? But won't you stick a reel of, uh, reel of our film on? We're 4-3. We're remarkable in our fronts. Uh, we base out of the 4-3 and, of course, the first couple snaps we're in here we're not playing 4-3 but uh, I'm sure your, your linebackers on that last play there um, you know, realized right away and came up with the wrong shoulder got sucked inside a little yeah, bit absolutely a little bit high a uh, play like this it, it started this play from the very start right go ahead now right now I'm gone mm -hmm. I mean it's like a blitz you know, a lot of people thought I was blitzing but on a situation like this, I got a feel for it before the before the snap. Depending on what set it was, I knew it was eye formation. I knew what the down and distance was, and I knew that on this they like to come my way. So on, on the beginning of the snap, before anything could move, I get to have I get to pull back in the backfield, and I make the guy cut off and go back the other way or whatever, so the backside linebacker can make it. Tennessee head football coach Philip Palmer in studio with us. How are you? Doing great, Mike. How are you? Do you still have any hearing left after that little just blasted me? <laughs> after, after that little experiment we did on you there? I'm ready for Florida. <laughs> Waiting for Pavlov's dogs to come in any moment. How's things going for you this summer, and what sorts of things have you done? It's really been a good summer, uh, number one, because uh, our players have, uh, have done very well. Uh, we came out of spring practice feeling good, and then with the work that our players have done, it's just been an exceptional summer. We've taken some time off here um, uh, up until Sunday. Let's get right to the phones. Bill is up first for Coach Philip Fulmer this afternoon on Sports Talk. Hi, Bill. Yeah, how much better do you think the defense can be this year than it was last year? I think considerably better. Uh, I'm not surprised. Uh, we started a quarterback tradition here. I think that uh, we can continue to recruit through, I hope, and he's, he's an important part of that, obviously. We need a break, and then we're back with more with Coach Philip Fulmer, who is our guest for 20 more minutes on Sports Talk. A break and back with more. This is Sports Talk on News Talk Radio 99. That's Bud Ford at Tennessee. I uh, just want to check with you to be sure you're all right on your schedule for our football media day, which is coming up on the 8th of August. Not far away. We sure needed action sports there and want to be sure you got your timing and everything.
That's right. And uh, we'll be serving lunch early in the afternoon if you guys want to come on up and take part in that. i tell you what. Dress him, please, uh, one media guide, and send this guy two media guides. Let me give him my cards back. UNLV be the first game on August 31st, 7 p.m. That game will be on video seat. All righty, we look forward to seeing you guys on that day, and uh, it won't be long to football season start. All righty, thanks a lot. Bye. Coming up, the Vols face the media. That's what I see. boy. Thanks, Billy. All right. Morning, for SEC Media Days. Got full of from Bud Ford. And hey, what did he tell you? He told me I have to wear. He gave me his clothes to wear his clothes tomorrow. <laughs> oh no, you don't want to do that. Probably any chance of respect that I have this conference is going downhill tomorrow to come out in Bud's new leisure suit. Well, the SEC Media Days is just part of the process. Uh, you enjoy it. You get too good to see everybody. You try not to put your foot in your mouth too bad if you can help it. Coach Fulmer, uh, Florida three-time defending SEC champion, yet Tennessee comes to SEC Media Days as the team that everybody picks to win the conference. Is that kind of surprising to you? Well, it is a little bit surprising, but this is the preseason, you know, nobody knows, really. Nobody has a crystal ball, but it's flattering to our program. And I think Peyton and, and, and Ray Austin have been great examples and, and representatives of the university. It, it, it's great, you know, I'm glad we have our fans that we do, you know. I mean, you know, I just love talking about Tennessee football, you know. I just, everybody's always asking me this and that, you know. I'll sit down and chat with them all day if I could. So, you know, it's great to have fans that, that stick behind you like that. John Stuckey says nobody has had a better summer than Raymond Austin. Do you agree? Well, I'm glad he says that. You know, uh, I work hard. Well, it's, it's great, you know, just to, just to, you know, mix and mingle with, you know, the Danny Waffles and I get the room up with Peyton Manning. <laughs> we stayed up all last night just talk, you know, just talk about football. Get you on over here at the radio, honey. All right, there, Roy. Well, he's saying you're trouble, trouble, mate. You know, uh, he's just in trouble, mate, but he always has been. <laughs> Buddy. Too bad. It's been fun. Uh, it's fun for me to come down here, and I got a chance to talk with some other players uh, during the kind of interchange in between interviews. But uh, I have fun meeting people, and it's just part of the SEC experience. You ever get sick of thinking about Florida? People asking about Florida, planning for Florida. You see Florida in your dreams, or? Well, sure. I mean, I, mean, uh, I mean, Florida's out there. Yeah, like, but I mean, uh, I understand it. I guess to uh, answer your question. All right, independent Steve. Good. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Good move. Good move. Barry kept on the popcorn, too. All right. I'm supposed to shuttle you to. Okay. Yeah, it's right here. That's it, jump into the truck. Good, good. Jump into that truck. Get, get into that truck. And let's get halfway intense, okay? Let's try to get the eye of the tiger, maybe. The way we execute the exercise, it's explosive. It's in a, a, an unfixed environment, which means not in a machine. So the weights are free to move uh, in the three dimensions. So that's probably the most important aspect of what we do. I, I 
think just think about the championship. I think everybody on this team thinks about it every day. I know me personally, I think about it, think about, you know, the teams that we had to play, like Florida and Alabama and Georgia and UNLV, you know, every day. And I think that motivates us um, every day. Hey, let's go 315 for 10. Can we go 10? Is there somebody here that can get 10 with 315? That's what I want to know. Is there anybody here? Good. How much did you help it? Don't take. Don't take. To see a young man develop into something special. To see him work, be disciplined, be accountable, and develop his abilities to the, to the best that he can be is so satisfying and so much fun to see. When you step in the weight room, you have to really concentrate on the weights for an hour and a half, and that really gets us through it. Okay, that, that was really, that was much, much better. Just a real picky little stuff, because if you're on camera, and this team is on camera a lot, make sure that little things like when you're doing this step, that this arm isn't forgotten about. We talked about that last year. You've got to look up. You've got 96,000 people all sitting above you. Actually, it's probably 102 or 106 at this point. But you've got to look up. If you look straight forward in this stadium, you're going to look at the wall. All right, so you've got to look up. The fans are up above you. All right, one last time. Go again. One more time. Jenny, pull it even tighter. One last time, just like that. through the shoulder pads. He looks good. What do you weigh, Buck? 263. Good. That's good, buddy. Yeah. I don't want to see you tap the top of the bags, okay? We're not going to feed a blocker like that with a thumbs in. Want thumbs up, want to get those palms on the edge of that dummy, okay? Just a gentle push on the edge of that dummy as we stay down low, as we stay down low, as we stay down low, and then turn and go, okay? Now make sure you work your feet. Good shuffle, eyes up, palms on the dummies with your thumbs up, okay? Now, talked about it before we came out here. One of the things we talked about was what? Winning edge for the day, what? Attitude, attitude. Now let me say this about it, okay? It's easy to sit in that office with that air conditioner on and have a great attitude and say, hey, this is what I'm gonna do, boy, and I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna work hard. And I know coach is gonna be on my butt, but I'm gonna work hard. When it becomes difficult, when we're out here and we're straining and pushing, and you got to push yourself to go, but guys, that's where attitude takes over. That's where attitude takes over. And if we got a championship attitude, and that's what we want to build towards as a team. As a team, each individual developing that championship attitude that's going to allow us to be a great football team. Without it, guys, we're not going to be there. We're not going to be there, so we're going to develop that as we go. And when it's tough is when you're out here and you're tired and you're a little bit sore, you just got a little, little strain here, a little pull there, we've got to push ourselves through those situations, okay? Remember, we talked about the things that you can control. And that's one of the things that you can control, how you're going to respond when you're called on. And so far, it's been great, guys. The quarterback's got the ball up here. We're going to strip the ball. We're going to try to strip the ball. Now, when it's on the ground, we're going to bend both knees. We're going to get both hands down, pick the ball up, and secure it. Put it away. Cover the points up. 
pressure the ball, put it away. It's our ball. If I don't pick it up clean, then get on the ground and wrap it up. Got me? All right, first of all, Dwayne's coming off the corner. We got a corner blitz call. All right. Ball, 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 ball. Pick it up. Get up here, Joe. All right. All right, you two big guys in the back. Okay, here you go, facing me. Facing me, all right? Come here, you and that. Come here. I'm going to send you guys on the back pedal, all right? Get in the stand. I'm going to send you on the back pedal, all right? If I scoop it here, you scoop and score, you be the lead blocker. If I go here with it, you scoop and score, and you be the lead blocker. You got it? Yeah. Good stance. What foot should be up? Outside foot. There we go. Here we go. Back. Ball, 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 ball. Score, score, score. That's it. Tough to go. Here we go. Two more. We have a really, really special guest with us today, guys. Uh, this is uh, Senator Fred Thompson. Uh, you may, I'm going to tell you a little bit more, you may recognize his face from different things that have, have seen him, but he's on a, a lot of, he's 90, since 94, right? Yeah. He's a Memphis State graduate, a Vanderbilt Law School graduate, but he loves the ball. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, gentlemen. Back to your coaches. Break's Thank over, you. man. Break's over. Over. Not a union. Three <laughs> <laughs> right here on three. Ready? One, two, three. Another one. You smile bigger. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Another one. Well, we got the pole position right now. You know, we're going to go around turn three and hope we don't wreck. That's the way I see it. <laughs> Atta boy. Thanks, Billy. All right. All good to talk to you, man. Have a good one. Make sure you get the feet. Those size 27 shoes. Three, another one. Get excited on three. One, two, three. Another one. On three, ready. One, two, three. All right. Thank you, John. Hey, everybody can't be good looking at me. Go, guys. Everybody can't be good looking at me, hey. Uh, it's just a matter now for them to take it to the next step to go prove it on the game field. And uh, I think they're capable of doing that, but they got to prove it. All right, you got Peyton and Graham coming. Yes, okay. And you get coach? Yeah, I got coach already. Okay, so you're okay then, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Anybody else that we need to go on the list? Two. Right. Two. Oh, yeah. Two times, baby. No. <laughs> Coming up, first day of practice. Messed up? It's perfect. All right. As long as my hair is perfect. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, Mark, what's jackets this morning? The kicking yesterday, as I said, I thought was just exceptional. Uh, the preparation by the coaches and also uh, the um, uh, attention of the players was exceptional. Uh, said a lot of times, and I said it again yesterday, judge a team by the discipline we have in the kicking game and the effort that's given in the kicking game. And it's quite obvious that your enthusiasm for it was very evident. Kevin, one of the questions just from listening yesterday that you might just put in your mind is, is as a kid, is running with the uh, the, the guys blocking on punt return mm -hmm. and. and it's a little bit of a gray area of when to throttle down and block that guy. Mm -hmm. You know, I know what it is yeah. when, you, when you're on his hip yeah, there it is like versus it, so. when he loses right. you. But right. I think there maybe is enough confusion. Yeah, yeah some guys are athletic. They can probably got the speed to kind of catch up to and get back into their hips. You're right. Okay. So that would be, you know, that would be a big, big deal. Uh, SEC officials um, will be in here. Saturday, Saturday scrimmage. Randy talked about Bryson as a kickoff returner. We want him to move up in our thoughts as far as uh, I, I, I don't think Terry uh, should do both. I, I'm not sure that's absolutely necessary. It's something y'all can decide. Anybody else got anything? Questions? Okay, thank you this morning. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
showers are optional nowadays. So you don't see anybody. You're cut off from the outside world, so it doesn't really matter. Snack time. Snack, snack, snack time. Uh, food. Food. Eat. Snack time and then. I only need to be bigger. This is, this is Gibbs Hall. This is the permanent place. Oh. That's the two-a-days walk right there. The two-a-days strut. That's kind of cool if those doors are you know. <laughs> <laughs> We're on two. We're going to one. That'd be a present. How you doing? He's a good guy, though. It's an excellent thing. Yeah, we'll take her out. Ooh, he's scared me. Don't. Don't give me a cut. Make him cut that out. Don't. Please. <laughs> Snack tray. Snack. It's got the onion, the essential onion. My, I might add to it. Probably get some more grease in my mouth. But this, Gibbs Hall, baby. Best. You come around a little early, not, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, he is. He's early. Am I? <laughs> no, y'all just staying up late. Y'all need to get. No, man. Just take this and look. Neil Johnson here talking to his lovely girlfriend. He's in a wonderful mood tonight. He's been a good boy all week, but she doesn't believe it. Somehow girls always think that uh, we have a few more extra hours to spend with some volleyball girls who just happen to be over in the dorm. <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't hate me, Neil. <laughs> Coming up, recruiting cranks up. All right, listen up. We got a team period today that's going to be the three down stuff, the mechanics, the management. We're going to leave you in there. I don't think I'm going to do situation huddle, but it's going to be the ones like five plays in a row, and then the twos for five plays. We are going to go to curls by the W, right? I mean, the Z. We're going to get that done. We're going to get that done. So, Jermaine, when you run it, now you know what to run. All right, mental process. This is something I think every one of us need reminders of. Those of you that play the game are the ones that deal to this on a day-to-day -day basis. I'll give you a few thoughts about it, and I'm going to let Peyton carry you through it. But just what I'm getting ready to talk about is getting a signal. From that minute I get a signal, I'm having to formulate formation. I'm in the huddle now. Now the process begins with the huddle call and then it starts getting going fast. They get to the line of scrimmage. There's a mental process you've got to go through to get yourself prepared, including remembering what personnel am I in? What are my answers? All right, Peyton, talk them through from the get-go your operation, your procedure as far as looking at the defense, First down, and I'll have to throw a uh, perfect 15 yard curl. I want to put completion out there somewhere on first down. So you get that stuff thinking in your head the whole time. You're checking the clock, you're going to look at it, get the, get the line set, get the line quit, set the defense. Like I said, get a completion down. Third and, third and eight, it, it might change. I'll right? possibly a pressure situation, through my man to man routes, what's my best option, I mean, the W outside. Those things you have to think about, but it's all quick. You can't get up there that first time. I haven't seen anybody yet miss the yard line because their step was too small. They're all too big. You've got to march with your toes up. You can't dig with the, in with your heel. This time, face the center of the field when you get in this line. Face the center of the field. All right, real quick. You look at it. Uh, Josh 
any of you, any of you people, I can't see who your faces are so well. Jason, anybody, figure out and try to help those people that were lost and don't know what they were just supposed to do. No, you need to be facing that way. Go ahead. What the times we go through it, we've go, probably have gone through some parts up to 20 times each, just to make it as perfect as we can possibly get it. But what they see is the finished product. They usually don't see as much of the work that goes into it as what we have to do. Now look at chart five, so you have some idea of what in the world you're going to make next. As soon as they give us that whistle command uh, to go into fight, ball fight to make the tee, you can hear the crowd sort of arise and you know know that it's coming. And then as soon as we hit that first note down the field and it opens, you cannot hear anything else you play from that point forward. It's just one of the greatest feelings you'd ever know. We talk about and use the term play in the game, whether it's routes versus air. You can lay in the bed with a notebook and play the game and sweat bullets. I mean, you can sit there and go through this in your mind, down a distant situation. What do I do? Just the things that Peyton just stated rather clearly. But you, you have to have a process per play, per down and distance. And when I get the signal, get in the huddle, I'm going to the line of scrimmage. I have got a job. I'm busy. I'm busy from that point on. And then once you get right down to the point right before the ball snap, you got to be a player then. You're playing the game. And that's, I mean, that's what we have to improve at. That's why you're going to have a limited amount of scrimmage opportunities in the fall, very limited amount. You got to make the most of those opportunities. You got to put yourself, project yourself in a game and make that happen. And otherwise, it's not going to happen for you when the lights come on on Saturday night. I can promise you that. Lord of mercy. Hey, Chris, can you help us here? Because we got to get these out we have a box. today. No Are these all the G's or G's and B's? When we line up on the 31st, now I guess UNLV will be the largest crowd that will watch a college football game. That's exciting. Then. And then the next week when we play UCLA, they'll break that record. And then we take that open week and we play, play the University of Florida up here, it's going to set all the records. <laughs> this will, will uh, of course, uh, be an individual that, that uh, we will recruit and uh, hopefully have, uh, you know, have, have a good chance of getting, but, but we want to know where they stand academically. We recruit nationally now, so basically with mail, we send out a lot of mail. And we do this almost, like I said, every, every day or every day and a half. This is actually a very a small mail out we're doing right now but we're just letting them know about our upcoming show on Sports South and just to wish the guys a, a good season. I was fired up that first day I had my list I made about 55 phone calls and got contact with three guys <laughs> they were all in camp this is a tough time to catch up with guys there in camp and uh, but at least you make a contact you meet a sister you meet a mom and you let them know who you are and uh, you know just meeting that first person that sister or that brother it, it comes back in the recruiting process coming up the offense gets its game plan ready if it's a real bullet he's right well, that's a three-bagger defense anymore that's not well, let's get that backside wheel running underneath some and middle drills, Mark, to test that blunt. Because the reason they won't look in there is because we don't ever make them do anything. Take the wheel backer and run him through the back side underneath, Jimmy. And this is when cars started becoming a thought. Yep. And for those of you who don't know what car is, it's a tackle basing up. And the fullback replacing the tackle. You can see that he can just about do it. See it all the time, pro. Right there. They didn't like the way he got the ball there, I can tell. That's just ridiculous there. Now it's screwed iron up. Now there's the first time we've come up with a, a screwy system. This guy looks like he's going to be a football player to me. Diago. Just his feet. My God, we got our tackle reaching the three and blocking Mike. That's exactly what I was talking about, except Trey coming off. But you got to remember, you're putting two people in a bind. You're putting your center in a bind, your backside guard in a bind to get to him. 
the O. That tray should never be wrong on this. We got a sack in the end zone. to prove to a lot of people that I can play on this level. And I think I proved my point. You know, and everybody saying that, Toy, you're a hard hitter, but okay, that's true too. It's part of my game, but also I want to be, I know, not known as a one-dimensional defensive back. Um, I think practice is very important because um, you're out there with the guys, man. You're trying to get things done, you know, as a unit, uh, as far as defense and offense. You know, Coach Chase practices uh, unity a lot and practice hard, man. We got to go hard every play. I know sometimes the uh, guys get hard, get tired, you know, the legs get weary a little bit because we just come out two days, you know, and that's going to happen. But, you know, we're trying to get things done for the season, man, and, you know, trying to win ball games every Saturday. I think Coach Ramsey, man, is a good, a very good good coach because he brings so much to our secondary. He, been, uh, he brings intensity, he brings uh, smartness, and he brings, uh, uh, he brings to our secondary that uh, get up and go momentum. You know, do it, do it, do it, and get it right. Get that number, get that number, get that number. Back up, back up, Darren. Go! Get that number. There you go, good. Now you're in business. All right, that's better, that's better. Here we go. Hey, don't back straight up. What's the defender gonna do, Darren? He's gonna fight outside and make him work. Come on, Chad. Right in the middle, right in the middle, Chad. Go! Right in the middle, that's it, good. That's better. All right, that's better, that's better, that's better. Hurry back. Over here. Good, you do that every time you be an All-American one of these days. Let's go. Go! All right, one, good, good, that's it. Good. Chad, do it right, do it light, do it wrong, do it long, big guy, let's go. Go! There you go, right there, right there, right there. You don't get to do it over in the ball game when it's fourth and one. Here we go, quickly. John, let's go. Let's go, D. Told you a couple days ago that you can mark if a good football team is a kicking game. You can watch the guys play in the kicking game, the effort that they give, the techniques that they use, and how much they really believe in it is a mark of a good football team. There's also another area. That's goal line and short yardage. Short yardage, if you get the ball back for the offense on third and one defensively, you get the ball back that gives us a lot better chance to score and win. Critical for us to have the football to score. Get you off the field, get us on the field. Offensively, our goal is to keep the football. Keep the football, and you've got to make third and one. Or you get it down into the goal line area, you get touchdowns, and we don't make an All-American out of a kicker by kicking short field goals. Okay, the only way to practice that is full speed. If we're going to be, and then we won't do that during the season, we'll take care of business. Okay, but we got to see, we got to see who's got the guts and the heart as offensive linemen to come off and take that thing. If we're on a two-yard line, you end up two yards into the end zone. We've got to see on the defensive line who's going to control that line of scrimmage and make that back jump so that linebacker can go over the top and we get a play like we made in the Ohio State game, which made the difference in the football game. You don't get many opportunities like this. We got, I think, four plays with each team. That's it. I want those four plays to be all you got, okay? All you got. Offense going in, defense right down here. In getting you, it is in character. Hello, John. Hi, how are you? I don't have too many people. The fewer, the better. But I think that this is a situation where we need two instead of one. 
That's what I'm saying. Right here, it's the, when they if they do the flyover, right there, the sound will be so the, that sound will be deafening for a few seconds. But I mean, Obviously. The, so so you give them five seconds or ten seconds to fly over without saying anything because you don't want to hear it. And as soon as soon as they fly over, the Jernigan come back. In other words, you would say, flies over Seals Watkins Field. Boom. Everybody's cheering. Mm -hmm. Then on cue from you to him. Mm -hmm. And as the part of the Southland Band tells you on the field below, you are part of the largest on-campus crowd in the history of college football in the United States. The official attendance for tonight's 75th birthday of Neyland Stadium, ladies and gentlemen, 107,000. That's the cue then for everybody to stand and cheer and the fireworks come. Tonight we're testing a 16-inch shell and 12-inch uh, shells and numerous other things here throughout the stadium order for our uh, show this first game. The stuff starts going off from inside of it and that's how you upgrade the tempo of what you're doing. So we go from fountains to fountains with small breaks, and there's four of them, and then three seconds later, another volley, three seconds later, another volley, and finally, the big one. This, this we're afraid of. I'm afraid of this. Really? Yeah. yeah. For the river, what are you shooting right now, 12 inch? Uh, for the ball games? Yeah, 12. 12 inch, and you're gonna shoot a 16 tonight, right? right. We'll see what 16 looks like. And a, a 16 contains twice the material as a 12. The Battleship Missouri shot 16-inch guns. That right there is the size of the gun that they shot. So that's what we shoot here. We're shooting a 16-inch shell. What's this one? 16? 16. Oh, it's high. There you go. There you go. Hamilton gives the OK. He couldn't see it? No, he said he gives the OK. Oh, he liked it. I thought that was all right, huh? Yes. Coming up, the fans welcome the ball back. How y'all doing today? Where y'all from? Period. All right. All right. Two of going pretty hard, man. It's all fun, but we're having a good time. It's Mark and Nash right here. Say hey, Mark and Nash to the people. Hey, hey, hey to the people. Man, I'm so tired. I didn't even go to bed, you know. Two of them are killing me. Look at the camera, man. Say, say hey to your mother. Hey, hey mom, what's up? <laughs> How's the food, man? I'm sorry, man. That's good. We're getting a weight in here, man. You know what? Man, boy, I'm going to find this thing, man. Oh, sweet. That's what I like to see. You didn't talk to you again. No, we didn't. Or. That's saying, you know, when we get to, when we line up against the, you know, UNLV, we got to make sure he's ready to play, and that's, you know, that's, that's what you've got to do. Yeah, I, I want to see him there, but I want, guys, I want to play well in that backed up situation. Yeah, that, okay. So you want him there? Yeah. Okay. Steve, how many how many plays have you thought about Leonard? Well, John, we've got a problem. Just like Dan said, the problem's going to be, you know, the rat, right now i got Rattle up behind him, Jeff, which we don't know if he take a snap or not. Jeff's yeah, going to scream me. Well, I know he told me he was. It's the first time he takes a hit on that hand. He don't know how much he'll be able to stand it because he said it was killing him right now. And then we've got uh, Brown and Terry on the other side. In terms of people today, uh, you know, Tyrone's out. Try to, with the second group, which is going to really be your third group in the county, try to limit what we're going to do to things that we feel pretty good about them doing. Oh, oh, there you go, John Sartell! Hey, back! Hey, back! Jay, we don't have a wing. Look, we don't have a wing blocker. Hey, we're trying to really work that thing over the top, see what these guys are getting done. That was a good cut. That was a right cut. Running backs, running backs, receivers. Running backs, receivers. Hurry, hurry. Come here, Sean. Sean, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Hurry. 
When the play is over, the most important thing to have is the football. Whether we score it or not, whether we made the first down or not, we punt, we play field position, we kick the field goal there. You hold that football with two hands in traffic, it's the most important thing that you got in your life. You understand? Do not lose the football, period. Okay? Get that done. Let's go. Oh, the welcome back barbecue. It was fun. Uh, it was good to you sort of get me because the fans make us. You know, without them, we wouldn't do nothing. And uh, so we, we, you know, we enjoy going there, giving autographs. And uh, I mean, it's flattering and everything. But you know, you had to give back to the community like that. And I mean, it's, it, I think it's a good thing just to get us ready and let, let you know, let us know that it are. I mean, that there are people out there that want to uh, want us to succeed and uh, to you know make a difference. And uh, it's just good meeting some of the people in the community who really give you a lot of support. You know, you don't really get to, to meet a lot of those people just because they're not usually hanging around after the after the game around the locker room or anything. But they're always at like big functions like that. And the welcome back barbecue is great. Coach Fulmer at home. What's going on at school today, Court? We have Zoom today. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bless the food and nurse our bodies and our bodies and service. We ask you to take care of each and every one of us this morning. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, girls. What's going on at school today, Court? We have Zoom today. Yay, it's Friday. <laughs> if you're not home, um, Grandy or I will run out. I want to go. <laughs> I'll go that always thrills Courtney when we want to quit her party. <laughs> Can't have this guy from Chattanooga calling here anymore. I invited him to oh, dinner. This is, no, you did not. Yes, she did. No, you did Well, he's going to call her all the time. I want to at least meet him. You tell that Mirable boyfriend about this. <laughs> it's not his business. I think he just did. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready? Bye, Angel. You going with me, too? No, not for it. I'm going to take them in a little bit. Yeah, maybe too. 88 and out the gate. All right. Okay. Have a great day. Okay. Love you. Bye. Bye-bye. One seven four twelve hundred. Hello, Joe Harrington with the UT Video Laboratory. Ms. Phillip, uh, I'm just looking for um, some tape on the, the Auburn-Florida game from a couple years ago. If you'll see if you can find that, uh, it'd be 90, 93, and the 94 game. Uh, let me know. Thanks. Bye. Well, the family time is really difficult because, um, you know, the time demands, and I'm, one, I've got a very understanding family uh, about it because you know it takes quite a commitment not only on my part but as much if not maybe not, not more on, on theirs and a lot of understanding on their part uh, all of them have uh, even though they might not like it sometime accepted the time demands that go with the job but when we have time we try to really make it quality time and and uh, I've learned over the last three or four years to manage it uh, better and make sure that uh, there's some designated times that you know that you're going to have for sure and uh, quality time and you look forward to those times and then, and then we try to have other times too. Okay. I need my schedule. <laughs> I gotta go get my girlfriend too. <laughs> is that okay? Yeah, she she always comes with me to get books. This is my girlfriend Christy. We've been dating how long? Eight, nine years? No, two and a half. I'm just playing. So we're gonna go off to get our books. Uh, 
Hey, they're doing an expose on stealing books. Ah. Yeah. This complete madness that's buying books. I don't even know where to go. I just, I just kind of wander around and get help. I don't know. All you do is Miles Atherton. What are you doing, buddy? I'm trying to find a book. Underwater Fire Prevention 101? Yeah. Broadcasting 410. Let's go. I've always thought, you know, that the guys, you know, like Bob Kessling and John Ward and guys like that who get paid to go to games and cover games and hang out with sports, that would be just to me that would be the ultimate job, you know? I mean, that would just, that'd just do it. You know, they said that... Uh, when I got here, they said, well, there's no way that you can graduate in less than four years and play football, you know, and have good grades and all that stuff like that. And so I'm going to do it in three and a half years. I graduate in December, and I'm going to have a 397. So, you know, that's not bad either, I guess. I'll tell you what, that one teacher that gave me the B, too, she's not getting any Christmas cards from me. I'll tell you that much right now. You got one more book you got to get? Yeah, statistics. I don't know if I should look into math or statistics. Well, statistics is right behind you, so I'd look at that. That'd be the one you want need. <laughs> Sociology 200, boy, that was a tough course. I had that. That's it, we're dialed in. I got six books. All right, is this mine? Nope. Okay, that's all yours. All right, then. We're, uh, yeah, now I gotta do study. Thanks. See y'all later. Okay. I'm having a great time. I mean, I would rather do this than go fishing any day. It just takes constant monitoring and people that care enough about it to look at it every day. I guarantee you 95% of the people when they walk through the turnstiles, I'm the same way. The first thing you look at, first thing you see is the field. Of course, that's where the game is played. You know, and, it, and it's kind of the, the canvas that you're, you know, you're playing the game on. You know, this is a special stadium, huge, uh, great seats for people to watch a ball game in. I mean, it has its own special, it's, to me, this is a special place. You know, it's not like a new stadium built somewhere, this place has history. I feel a special feeling toward the place when you walk in because you, you think of all the people who have played here all of the great coaches in the country that have coached here, and if you stop and think about it, admitted everybody that's been anybody in the history of college football has at one time either played in this stadium or coached in this stadium. Okay, we're gonna practice situation huddle today, Eric. Okay, y'all remember situation huddle? Okay, are we in a hurry? No. No, it's not a hurry up thing, we're just not huddling up, right? If you need to walk up there, hear what the play is, walk on up there, let Peyton tell you to play so he doesn't have to yell it out for the defense doesn't figure out what we're calling every time. The center's trying to go back, he's trying to go back. He's doing that looking for the backer, right? The tackle has got to go down inside and secure that three technique. All right, we got away with it the other day, he didn't. All right, three technique happened to try to fight across the down block. The end right there will be free on you. So you gotta be ready to pick him up. Finish your fakes, right? Finish your fakes, finish your runs, finish your blocks, okay? Finish, finish. Right? And then the effort, guys. Effort in the kicking game, effort on offense, obviously, whether it's breaking through the ball, whether it's blocking, whatever it may be. Look for effort. All right, so look at a little bit of UNLV. Hadn't looked at any of them yet. So you got spread set, okay? What they've done, they're playing eagle defense, all right, had to walk the slam up to the tight end on the line, got the mic right there, got the wheel, walked out here in space with the formation. All right, let's put on this practice tape and look at parts of this and see if we can't learn a little bit. It had Joey Kent easy with the thing, but working all parts of it, that's a good first step because he's, he's, he's flat at a half, not even going, he's not losing ground. Just be careful getting yourself too flat, right. too all quick. Right. Come out to make it one throw, and it doesn't happen. I'm having to readjust. Right. And we're working all parts. You know, ever forget our W in the back. Right. Most winning edge about today. <coughs> Those young guys, you know, I don't know. Somebody's better than answer. Situation. Backed up. Go line. Orange area. Yes, sir. 
thought process and offense and defense standpoint. All right, get the same thing going back. Hey, hey, I like the way we're working. Let's keep this up all day, okay? Let's keep it up all day. Keep it up all day. <clears throat> Shoot, let me have one of those. I'll have one. I'll have one. Hey, y'all get it quick, guys. We got to go to work. Got to go to work. Now, what I want to see, all right? Coming out of the three-point stance, want to see those first few steps, the fitting in, all right? The fitting in, the hands, the hat, and sinking the hips right there, okay? I'll stop you on the whistle. Stop you on the whistle. Here you go. Ready? Go. All right? Stop on the whistle. Stop on the whistle. Let's go one more time. Here you go, Peyton. Let's hit them all. We got to catch them. Quarterback got to throw him, we got to catch him. Not too wide. Hold, hold, you're too wide. There you go, right there. There you go, there you go. Shoot, if we're going to do it, let's do it right, guys. If we're going to do it, let's do it right. There you go, Sean Bryson. Everybody stand, and I want you to at least hug three people. Hug three brothers next to you. Come on. But my major mission in life is to teach boys to become men. To teach boys to become men. And now the relevant question is, how do you do that? That's called preparation. That's called preparing for the big game. And seeing the pros, the big game was every week. Every time you step on the field, that was the big game. But see, tonight I want to talk to you about a different preparation. <clears throat> this is preparation for the game of life. And fellas, I want to warn you of something, because every time I open the papers, I see volunteers. Every time I open the paper, I see a uh, man is behind the trophy. Every time I open the paper, man, I see what great defense you have. Every time I open the paper, I see uh, a names, man, like Kent. I see names like McCullough. I see different names, you know. So I, I know the pressure that you guys are facing. You know why? Because I've been there. I've seen it. But I want to warn you, you've got to be prepared for the game of life. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe all the hype that you're getting. I want to I wanna warn you. I, I want you to be motivated. I want you to be confident. But I want you also to be humble. Y'all all right? I want you to be humble. Do you all have playbooks here at University of Tennessee? Mm -hmm. Defensive playbooks and offensive playbooks, special team playbooks, y'all have that? If you didn't have it, you couldn't play the game. So guess what? If you don't have this, you can't play the real game of life and become the real man that God has created you to become. Coming up, it's football time in Tennessee. You want to make sure you're placing it, not just slinging it, because you have a tendency to bring it straight up like that and get it too high. Okay, here we go. Geoff, where were yours? Hello. Big hands, fans, none of that. Fist, nice, tight fist. Yes, go, ball, tight, nice. That's a beautiful motion if they do it tight. Take them up. Good job, Yes. Walk. Left, right, left. Jump, Kim. 
Eight, one, two, three, four, Come on, Chips and Jonathan, get those motions. Eight, one, two, three, four, Julie, what was that? It's going to be taking a lap, girlfriend. One, two, um, we assign the partners. You usually stay with one partner uh, throughout each game. All right, let's run over this. Uh, first of all, Tim, if you have any problems that we need to discuss that we've had to clear up. We want to take right from the bottom and start all over Perfect. as far as quality. Okay, now, Steve, you had some things about uh, the studio changes, control yeah. point. It's pretty obvious, usually after a PAT or uh, whatever when we do it, mm -hmm. but I just don't want to get in a situation where we've got three to five seconds of dead air. If you tell him, Randy, let's go, then he obviously knows to go. Yeah. Well, we just, we'll need to verify. Yeah that he yeah. can either hear Jeffries or he can see Jeffries mm -hmm. if there's no obvious to yeah. him. Okay. Uh, any problem with commercials? What happens when the new system breaks down? You don't have to go back to the other one, Mike. I mean, what we have, have on standby. Something. What happens when we lose electricity at the uh, stadium? Uh, if worse come to worse, you know me well enough to know there's always spare telephones up there. We'll put you on the phone. Okay. You'll be on the air. Using that one. put you on the two-way radio. Play 16. Uh, third and four on the right hash. Okay. On the plus 34. Formation. Right duo. Okay. Runner or pass? Pass. But it's finding uh, all the blitzes and then sorting them by down. First down, second down, third down. And then all the stunts, which are just linebackers, uh, as you may or may not know. First down, second down, third down. And then it's going to stack them together, and then it's going to put them all here. And we, I, I mean, it, in, in just this amount of time, it took me to click probably about 30 or 45 seconds. <laughs> you better come and eat. Before they be real sad. I'm real hungry, okay? Anybody want that? <laughs> I tell you what, this is Q and A day, right? This is Q&A day. This is the day that we get all the news out to the good volunteers. I wonder if everybody knows today is the 67th birthday of Haywood Harris. Hey, and we have a birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Haywood. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I appreciate it. Thank you, boys. Appreciate it. Well, you're born 1910, right? 61, actually. Oh, no, I'm 27. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Appreciate it. Gives us a good present this Saturday, but the old take care of the old one. Take care of the old running rebels. What's your birthday wish, Haywood? Beat the running rebels. Beat the running rebels. That's the only game we're thinking about. One game and nothing. That's the only one we can't think about. On the scary report. We we'll want to make sure when we uh, get this type that we highlight their starting personnel and make sure they're listed up top. Um, we want to keep everything in order in terms of their one back runs, their two back runs, and so forth. And uh, the kicking, all the kicking will uh, come at the end of the scouting report, and I think everything's in order. So if we can just keep it in that order, I think everything sure. will be fine. Thank you. Thank you.
welcome to the main event. Pump up the volume, pump up the volume, dance.